Howdy folks, Rock the Deck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG Ozone Skyblock Reborn server, hanging out here at my uh, tech area because I did a few things between the now and the last episode. Uh, some of the things I did is I made the Soul Binder and the Slice and Splice, uh, and, and I was surprised that this needs XP juice and not just levels because uh, this right here tells you levels and before you would just click it and it would take your levels that you had no no I had to supply it XP juice so that's okay I just grabbed my obelisk from over there piped it in done but it was just kind of unexpected anyway the, the reason why I did that because I wanted to make the staff of traveling and if we take a look at the recipe for that, uh, dark steel ingots, not a problem. I made the seeds so I can make more of those. Ender crystal. Well, if we look at this, this is why I needed the soul binding. Because I needed to take a soul fill vial with an enderman. That's easy. Uh, and, and I needed to take a vibrant crystal, which that, that's not a problem. And plus experience, there's the, the six levels of experience, and that got me the Ender Crystal. Now, the, the thing that's really nice about the, the, the staff of, of traveling is now I can zip to my various uh, travel anchors without actually having to stand on them. See, I have to actually come and stand on them, and then I can target them and, and zip around. Zip. Wee <laughs> Oh, no moving. But with this staff of traveling, I can be quite far away and I can still just go, zip, <laughs> which is very nice, very nice. And I, I like that a lot. Uh, the other thing I did is I went ahead and made the Solium Dagger and I created this bad boy here, this enchanter from Mystical Agriculture, because uh, then I could generate the Soul Siphoner. Um, Ma, uh, uh, spell because that allows me when I use this soul dagger and I make well uh, let's go back to here uh, when I make the soul jars then I can sit there and holding those in my inventory with that soul dagger I can attack mobs and it'll take some of their essence and put it in the jar and one of the quests is for wither skeleton seeds. And uh, I just went into the nether, killed me a bunch of different withers, and, uh, well, wither skeletons, filled up four jars, made the seeds, done. And that, that really, really helped by having that soul siphoner on there because it's, it's so much better uh, with that. Uh, the other thing that I, I did is I created these. These are the, I had the, the hopper botany pots, but this is the elite one, which is a little bit faster uh, because I wanted to get some of these resources from the, the nether. Uh, both the warped and the crimson uh, just because I like building stuff with them and uh, I have an idea. In fact, if, if you've noticed over here, I've got the immersive engineering stuff because I've completely, well, not 100% not completely, but I vastly ignored immersive engineering up to this point in the pack. And that's a shame because immersive engineering is fun. So I made an island over there. <laughs> and I decided to, to go with making this a kind of a nether island. So you can see how it's kind of floating here. And uh, I, I started by having these these catwalks going across or my pathways. And I really like the warped. Uh, it, it's very similar to the copper, that same sort of feel as far as the color. But uh, I do like trapdoors. Those are those are fun. Made another one over here to this uh, nether island and then use something like six stacks of of uh, bone meal to move the crimson neelium around. And I want to make a a nice factory here for immersive engineering because some of the machines are quite large and so I wanted to have something that that would look big and imposing and be cool and so for that I needed space and then I said well I can't just have it be flat because that's boring so I decided to go with the, uh, the the nether island so that's that's what I'm beginning with and over here because I'm, I'm lazy I don't want to have to hey did you break? There's something here about these network receivers that seems to be breaking occasionally. All right, let's. Hmm, this is the second time that happened. Uh, once already connecting to my nether fa or nether farm, my my mob farm over here. And if we come around here, see here's the network receiver that's connected way over there, and then this is the the transmitter that's connecting from this area back over to my nether island. Let's 
Oh, I can just build this over here. Now, did that fix it? Nope. <laughs> okay, I, I wonder if it's because it's not chunk loaded, if that's kind of breaking this. So I, I will fix that. I will put it in an actual loaded chunk and see if that will prevent this problem. Mm. The, the other possibility is it may not be here. It may be over here. Uh, and the connection from here back, like the purple. I like the purple. Uh, let's go ahead and wither. That's where it's broken. It's from here connecting to the, the mob farm because I don't have my wither skeletons. Skulls. They should be showing up and they're not. So uh, that is something about the fact that it's chunk, not chunk lifted, would be my guess. Okay, I'll, I'll fix that. But uh, anyway, having if if I can get that uh, fixed and working, I, I will have access here to all my items with having to, without having to go all the way over there. <laughs> anyway, um, do I have a plan for this? No. Uh, do I have a basic idea as to what I want? Uh, yeah, I want something fairly big. Uh, it, it's not going to be 100% of, of this space, but something large enough that I can put in, you know, crushers and all the rest of the, the fun stuff. And those are multi-block structures, so I need something big. I um, Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll start figuring out something. All right, it's time to build something here. And uh, multiple people have, have asked you, how do you build stuff? And, well, the... the We'll do it together. <laughs> Let me see if I can uh, explain how my brain works. Uh, I went ahead and grabbed some blocks and some stairs and stuff. Similar to how I set up the, the building, my main building there. Well, <laughs> my once main building, uh, I, I want to have some stairs going up so that there's like two floors that are up from the ground. And uh, that's the exact center of the island when I initially laid it out and then I kind of chewed it around a little bit. So it's, it's, it's not quite the <laughs> center anymore. And, and I moved this back because I figured it was a little too far out and it was going to give me some grief. So uh, I want to be able to come up and go up the steps. So one, two, three. Yeah, let's let's go like this. So I've got three blocks, you know, that's a, a good space to go around. We were going up and instead of going straight into a, a you know, double set of stairs, I'm going to have a little flat piece here and I'll go like that. Just just to kind of push it back a little bit further. I wonder if I need to bring it a little bit closer. I, I, I really can't. I, I want to have some space around. So we're going to go up like this. All right, so that's pretty good. And then I need a doorway. So let's make that the the doorway. And three by three is, is a fantastic door bay, doorway. For, although I might make it bigger. Kind of like um, over with this building, I don't have an actual door. It's just an entranceway. I, I may do something very similar to this, except instead of doing it uh, two. Uh, did I do that three wide? I think I did that three wide. I think I did. I'm uh, going to do something very similar to this. I'm going to do something a little bit bigger than that on this, just because this is going to be a big building. So let's make it five wide. So, you know, that way I can move the, the big stuff in and out easily. Okay, so uh, let's... I Am I going to use stone and wood? I have no idea. Uh, these are just temporary blocks that are easy to break. And I've got lots of them so that we're starting to kind of frame an entrance way there. OK, OK, uh, I can go with that. Uh, I'm thinking stuff that has lots of a, a big fat footing for this building. OK, and then my standard thing is I, I I'm not a big fan of just straight walls going out. I like to have this little jog. So we'll go with that. And again, I, I because this is industrial, I probably won't have wood here. It's probably going to be all stones and metals and whatnot. All right. So one, two, three stuff. One, two, three stuff. One, two, three stuff. Uh, nope, that's two. All right. One, two, three stuff. Uh, hey, you're supposed to be three is stop breaking stinking blocks. All right. Let's that's one of the problems with having really 
high efficiency on fast breaking things. Okay, so one, two, three, wall, one, two, three, wall, one, two, three, break you. Wall. All right. Uh, I might not be able to do three <laughs> because then we're starting to get to the end. Uh, let's go out two and then we'll bend the corner. And then one, two, three, wall, one, two, three, wall, one, two, three, wall. We're getting kind of tight. I wonder, I, I might need to move that in by one more block to make it two and then going up. Or I may have to just shorten that piece here because I'm, I'm getting <laughs> close to the edge. Uh, because if I do like this, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, I'm getting close to, I would like to have this more centered. Uh, I will move these things because I'm, I'm thinking as much as I'd like to have this gentle slope, I might not be able to do that. Ooh, are there framed blocks in here? Let's take a look. Framed. There are, oh, oh, I can do just a, a slope instead of stairs going up. Ooh. Ooh, 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 okay, so then I would only really need two blocks. I'm not sure how I'll have to play with that. I'll have to make me some. Three block, one, two, three block, and then we bent around the corner. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. And then... Uh, yeah, it's, it's too, too close over to this end. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. Oh, wow. <laughs> that that lined up very nicely. Uh, OK, so I, I kind of like that. And and you may be asking, OK, why three? Well, first of all, it's it's odd, which is my favorite. Uh, but that allows me to have blocks going up the side and maybe a tall glass pane, something in the center, probably mana glass just because it's light. All right, uh, that, that gives me a good little frame to work with, and that's a decent size. This is going to um, be big. Uh, it's going to be at least 10, 12 blocks tall, just because I, I want something that's massive. I might put a second floor in there, uh, possibly like I did over here with the storage building, where I've got a kind of a central open area and, and a ring of, of a second floor above. I, I, I might do that over here, too. Um, and then I don't know how tall I'll build because that'll be fun. Oh, okay. For a split second, I said, what's that up there? Uh, I get distracted. I do. All right. That gives me the beginning ideas of how I can build this up. The other thing that I was thinking is, is having a, 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 a bigger base. So here, let me give you an idea of what I was kind of thinking in that, uh, maybe have something like this that uh, I could build up is, you know, we're going to have the, the, the two high floors here. And uh, the, the, uh, the thing I'm thinking is something that's kind of buttressy that will hold that wall up. Yeah. Yeah. Something kind of like that. I did something similar over here. You can see how I just reuse these techniques. I've got these, these buttresses pushing up on the side of the wall and if they've got different depths that's nice looking i'm thinking something similar to kind of hold up the building and to break up that flat wall there's going to be different textures there's going to be different colors from the the different blocks i'm using but there's also going to be depth and you know maybe i'll have a, a small base like this or possibly a slightly bigger base yeah or both. <laughs> so uh, something that, uh, you know, I might do if, if I'm doing that, I think I might put a slightly taller piece like this. Yeah, because then you get that echo of block stairs, block stairs, that that kind of feels nice. Although sometimes having a different, you know, like block stairs, block, block stairs. I don't know. I'll play with it. <laughs> I'll see. But I have to break all this down and move it in and play with some framed pieces and i'm not sure if a flat ramp would look good i'm not sure if it's going to climb up well i don't know although once i've got a central floor i'll move my travel anchor into the center so i can easily zip in and then i won't really need the door very much 
But OK, so I've, I've got the beginnings of an idea here. And then the, the next question is, what materials am I using? Probably not wood because it's a big factory build. Uh, so that means maybe brick would be good. I've got lots of stone brick, but I'm thinking brick brick might be good. Um, different levels of something. I really do like the uh, deep slate. So I might have the, the base piece uh, kind of like over here. I had a, a you know, basementy sort of piece to hold up the, the building, these two bottom two floors, and I've got these trap doors around it. I might do something similar with deep slate to sit there and have a really dark uh, base piece to kind of hold anchor the building down and then some other blocks going up. And then if I have a second or third floor, other blocks similar to what I did here, where it's deep slate and stone and then it's wood and, deep and stone. And then I went to all wood, something that kind of transitions like that. That's the kind of thought that I'm thinking I'm subject to change <laughs> that's all subject to change all right uh, that's how i kind of lay out an idea then i start figuring out how to set up the walls and then i start building and there we have my immersive engineering building and i, I had fun building that i i went through and decided to use the large uh, final building blocks from uh, the, the Twilight Forest. And I'm drawing a blank as to what uh, what all it is. Let's see, what does it say? Yeah, Castle bl Brick. So, um, and I, I since I got the blue and the, I guess it's more kind of a light blue cyan sort of color. Uh, I've got some of the little pieces in here. Leaning into the the dark brick and very light white brick uh, and, and just having fun with it. And it, we've got these little, you know, light blue randomly placed around and one violet way up there just for fun <laughs> anyway uh it's very symmetrical left and right here on the bottom and then we have two different towers that are also symmetrical but you know they're different so it's it's not but yes it is <laughs> anyway one one thing that's that's bad with this i love this uh opening disappearing door i think that's fantastic one thing that's bad about this is i moved it like five blocks over here and I can't find my home anymore. It's just out of range. But if I've got my staff of traveling, there it is. <laughs> That's what makes the staff of traveling so very nice. Anyway, oh, let's get rid of this too. Um, because I've got the stuff in here. I had a little bit of fun adding kind of a little bit of a lip up here just to put a few things and uh, got a little bit of a lip in these uh, different... Uh, tower areas there we go and this is <laughs> i have no idea if i'm going to do anything in here uh, lots of mana glass i love that so uh things to do uh there are a couple things i want to do uh with the engineer's manual and i want to make the squeezer but the first thing i want to do is i want to make the metal press because that way I can start making plates and wires and rods and whatnot using this instead of my hammer, which is a problem. Uh, so what I ended up doing is is I paused the the video because here if I play this, it just reconstructs everything for you, which which is nice and all that. But I'm trying to go okay, what goes where? And so if I pause and then I can cycle through all the stuff like that. And if I just hit end, it shows me the final piece which doesn't tell me what the, the, the stuff is. So, uh, you know, I like having that. So let's make a few things here. And that's a handy, handy book. Uh, I'm going to grab a, a set of conveyor belts and one that's going to be the drop-in conveyor belt. And then let's grab these and uh, make two sets of these. Uh, I think I need to make, yep, because I've got the, the six here. I'm going to make two sets of these steel scaffolds. And Charlie, what are you getting into? No, nope. he's playing with my work laptop. You're not supposed to be doing that, kitty. Uh, let's move these things out of here. Uh, hopefully he's not going to be tossing stuff off. Uh, that's a Millie thing. She loves to toss things off. All right, so what am I making? Okay, I made that. Oh, I'm making the redstone block. Oh, I need to make the iron sheet metal. That's what we're making. And then that goes here. 
and then the redstone goes around at no around and then the copper in the center and then i'm going to go get the kitty cat all right you stop that you what do you think you're doing <laughs> he's finding something under the laptop i propped it up so that it wasn't uh, getting hot underneath and he was saying that looks like something i could attack which he did all right <laughs> so let's move those out of the way i need to uh hammer out these steel plates and that's a lot of them one two three four uh at this point we'll take these no those and no i gotta remember what i need to do this is what i need i need four of these steel mechanical components and then i need these that's why i made the extra four these give me the the steel sheet metal those go in the corner the steel components go around and the electrum that's just gold and, and iron uh, gold and silver anyway heavy engineering block that will work for me i've got everything i need for my metal press up here so if i you know let's check the manual make sure i've got everything right so the redstone one goes down below stop it all right and i need some of this so the steel scaffolding goes there and there and we're going to put a conveyor belt and i love the little arrow it, it tells me which direction things are going to go I want to go like that and then I'm going to take this dropping conveyor belt and oh, I got to crouch click that in so anything going along will drop into the chest love it uh, this should load things on the conveyor belt itself okay so the redstone bit goes here and the heavy engineering goes on top of that and this is why I got the piston already set up in place. One, it tells me where things need to go. And two, it's a pain to get it pointing down. <laughs> so I had to put some blocks and, and build it. So anyway, I need to go into here. Let me grab these bits. I always like having a way of turning it off. Uh, right click this. There's my metal press. Uh, I will put my lever, I think right there and turn that off. So that should stop this from running the animation is going to go no matter what that that there's nothing uh oh hey i need a plate for this uh plate mm, form all right let's go immersive uh this i need a metal press mold plate all right so oh i need to go to the engineer's blueprint and do this do i have this i don't okay i'll make that later because I've, I've got to make this specific one and then get some more steel plates i've got the wire cutter that will give me that uh, i will probably also make the wire mold uh, so i can make wires varies and possibly the uh the the rod mold uh all of those all right so this one's in place and if i take my little uh engineer gate and go boink on the top it's getting power so this is working except for the missing plate. I'll do that later. Yeah, but dump. Uh, the next I want to have is the industrial squeezer over here. And here's where, aha, I got the leftovers, so I don't have to. So there's just three steel fences. All right, let's uh, pull up the book and read. So we know exactly what we need. Uh, da -da -da -da, squeezer, 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 squeezer. So there's this. Uh, oh. And it's got checked the stuff that I already have, which is cool. Okay, uh, over here, let's grab these bits. And here's where I need to start stomping stuff. Uh, this needs to get hammered down. And here's where you can see the durability of my poor hammer is going down. Uh, yeah, that's just kind of the way it's gonna go. Um, no. I need one of this format. Yes, that gives me the iron sheet metal. And then copper in the center, those around. Hey, this is for the light engineering, for the iron mechanical. Oh, they go that way. Well, fine. There's those. Put you around. There's my extra copper. Here's my four. Iron sheet metals going around. There's my light engineering block. All right, so I've made that. Oh, hey, quests. 
Uh, then I also need to make fluid pipes. And for that, I've got my iron in order, but I don't have them hammered. You can see where I'd love to have this all hammered out and get them better. I think that's another quest right there. It is. All right, so I think I've got everything. Let's take a quick gander. I need a piston and four wooden barrels. Uh, I think that's what, because I've got barrels. Okay, let's take a look at wooden barrels. Ah, this is an immersive engineering thing. Oh, okay. So my regular barrel barrels, I guess, will not work because that actually says wooden barrel. All right, so I'm gonna need some of these. Let's make some of those. And uh, hey, where did I put all my treated? I've got treated wood planks. Let's make two sets of you. I don't know why it didn't like that. All right, uh, let's put you like this. That will give me four. And now I've got one, two, three, four of these guys. Yep. Now I should have everything. I've got everything but the piston. But I've got the piston. So I'm okay with that. All right, let's look at... Uh, okay, so steel scaffolding, a pipe, and that's the light. Does it show me? It doesn't, but that's okay. That's the light. Uh, light and a fluid... Pipe. Looks like the, if I remember right, the fluid pipe is right underneath this. So that would make it that one. Yes. And this was kitty corner from it. And then we had one here. And then going around the side, let's recheck. Yep. Oh, two pipes. Two pipes. That, that second one was just a little sneaky. Yeah, it, it's right there. It's hard to see. Okay, so there's that. Then the next layer, there's the redstone. There's the uh, other light. Light. Uh, redstone. There's redstone that goes over here. And then we have the barrels. And they go there, 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 and there. All right, and that's, that's correct because they've got that, that funky thing on the top. We look at the decorations again and and yes there is a way to make the blue uh, take these blueprints and project a projector i think it is so it gives you the in-air you know example of what you need uh, i'm too lazy to build that for right now boom, boom, boom. we go up one more layer so there's the piston going down <laughs> and you can see why i like having that first and then the others around there and i just thump that middle with my uh, hammer Let's give it a thumb. Ta-da! All right, uh, let's get you off. Uh, I'm going to grab you. I'm going to put that there, and uh, that way I can always turn it off if I don't want. That's where the power goes in. So I have another ender gate. Put that there. Power going up. And there's an input. There's an output. Uh, but what I want to do over here, I'm going to take 40 of these powdered coals. Uh, yeah, 40 powdered coal. Because if it's say coals, then it sounds like it's something. Oh, do I need a liquid for this? All right. All right. The, the reason why is I want to make this HV accumulator. And I'm used to calling them capacitors. And for that, I need an HOP or hop graphite ingot. And for that, I need this hop graphite dust. And for that, I need it's the industrial squeezer. Coke, Coke dust. Mm -hmm. Gonna totally edit that out. Nobody will ever notice that I did it wrong. Okay. Coke. Let's put that there. Uh, that's coal dust. I want, I can type. Why can't I type? There we go. Coke. I've got plenty of these. Three, let's do four of those. Let's do five of those. Come back. There's 45, uh, and I only really need 40. Uh, let's uh, zip back to here, because I, I need to crush this. And I think I can crush it with the sag mill. 
There's a sag mill. Oh, that's going to give me coal. I don't want powdered coal. Okay, let's look back here. Back at this. Back at that. Back at this. Back at that. Coke dust. <gasps> I've got to have the crusher first. <laughs> okay, well, I got to make the bits for the crusher first then, I guess. Happily, uh, I didn't make any mistakes whatsoever. It just worked out exactly like I planned. So I, I moved the engineer's workbench from the villager spawner. Oh, oh there's villagers down there. <laughs> They're all packed away. Uh, brought it up here, put the other blueprint away and, and made the new one. And uh, it was just, I, I needed to hammer out one piece of iron and f three steel. And, and, and it's good that there wasn't that many because I only have 23 durability left on my, my hammer here. And so if I take four of these iron, toss it into here, it does nothing because I've got that turned off. Let's turn it back on. <laughs> and because I've got the, the stamp in here, you can see the stamp there. Uh, it does a pretty good job and it just got caught into here and those four turned into 40 because I did the other <laughs> earlier. Uh, so what I need to do, uh, I need to make, if we look at the, the, the what's it here, I've got everything in place except for the light engineering blocks. I need 10 of them and I've got two. So I need to make two sets of these engineering blocks, which means I think I go like this. Yes, that's the sheet metal piece. Let's do one, two of those, toss them into the system. And then the rest, half of you, put you there, go like this. Nope, it's in the corner. <laughs> I'm going to be making that mistake a lot of times, I can tell. And there's my full eight. And now if I go you and you and you, and I could click on that, but I'll just uh, plop them in as is. Now I've got 10, go away, and we check. It says I've got all of them. All right, so uh, it's a five by three area, and it looks like for the bottoms I need scaffolding and the lights. So I, I put down the barrels I had because I'm not going to be using them. But let's put the lights here, doot, doot, doot. And then I seem to recall there were two here. Let's check brain like a steel trap. Yeah, and then we do all the rest of the scaffoldings around. All right. And stop messing up. There we go. Put these like this and then we'll break you and you. Oh, that's all 10. Cool. So that's that layer done. Now, if we go up a layer, uh, light, light, and then the three there. So let's do that. Light, light, and then those three there. And we had the fence. It looked like that went around the center one. Uh, yep, looks like that goes around the center. Oh, and there's the redstone. Redstone goes in the corner. Let's get the fence in place. There and there and there and there and there and there and a little higher up there and there. And then I think the top layer is just my hoppers. Let's do a quick look at that yep there's the hoppers that go on the top so you and you and you all right and then my hammer hits this central piece Ta -da, there's the crucer and i don't have a, a, a lever for that i also don't have power for that let's change that oh that rotates Cool. All right. I, I won't hit it with the hammer. I don't want to rotate it. Uh, a lot of this stuff can all just go away. Uh, I do want a lever. I don't have a lever. Uh, then it's easier for me to just click this. And, uh, you know, this makes several because I keep wanting one. Uh, then the other thing I wanted was a gate. Hey, look, I've got an extra gate here. Nice. And the gate goes there. Doink, and the lever I will put there. So if I turn it off and then toss these things in place, they go in and there's a little inventory there, There's, but nothing happens. And then, oh, my, uh, that's all of them. Okay, I need a chest. 
let's grab an iron chest here and put that so it goes into there i'm going to take off my magnet for just a second so i can toss this stuff in all right all 32 go in there and get ground down all right so that should give me the 40 i need actually why are you stopping you've still got power r one of these gives me one of those I'll put my magnet back on. Is it somehow? Yeah, it's it. There's something with the inventory there that's really weird. Huh? I've I've never seen that do that before. It's always had you know plenty of inventory space, and I don't know. All right, so now I'm gonna sit there and oh, turn you on. And yep, <laughs> that sucked through so much power so fast. Okay, I'm going to have to make some better gates. No, I lied. I don't have to make better gates because I am not going to be doing anything with that. Uh, I do need to cook this. So let's zip over to here. And let me hit you on that. That's that. Hit you on that. I'm going to make some seeds. That's why I made five. So cook. I'll need one. All right, I just need the one. Now let's come back over to here. All right, so if I put this one here, that steel, oh, I need to hammer that out. Well, if only I had some place where I could hammer these things out. <laughs> it's so nice to have that. Oh, uh, so nice. My, my hammer is no longer going to be uh, losing any more durability. So there is the HV accumulator. Oh, and then it cuts back. I, I always go, huh. Uh, these are regular wires plus tough fabric. Tough fabric is just that. I've got that planted. Insulated wires because I'm no dummy. Well, okay, I am a dummy, but uh, I, I try not to be a, a big dummy. And I'm going to steal one of you. Boink. And put that. Oh, I need my hammer. Because I need to say... You're an in, and you're going to be an out, and an out, and an out, and an out, and an out. All right, so we'll go with that. Uh, if you're an in, you didn't get four million right then. <laughs> I wonder if it comes with four million and ring. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to take this, and if I put you there... Then I can do, oh, I need uh, one here. Oh, I need to make more of these. Uh, that's what I need to do. Uh, let's connect, click you and come down here and put you there. Oh, no. I just have it. For, oh, I think that's too far away. Too far away. Okay, I'm going to have to get another uh, piece. Yep, uh, I will have to do that. But... I've got the beginnings of a immersive engineering section in here, which is cool. All right. I think what I'll do is I'll make another HV accumulator and bring it over to here and another one over to here. So the, the distance won't be so far. I'll just need one of these gates to power up the, the accumulator. Then that's 4 million FE. I'll have another one over here, which will charge up these guys. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I think uh, it's it's going to work. Break you. Break all you. And we've got ourselves a, a, the beginnings part of a working immersive engineering setup. And um, if, if stop hitting wild keys. You can see there's one block around just so that I have ways of getting in if I need to pipe in stuff into here. And I've got one block around, but two over here. And that that you may have noticed that. You'd be probably going, hey, how come? I'll tell you. Because I don't want to straddle a chunk with these multi-block machines. That's why. <laughs> I would love it so much more to have it over here than it would be balanced. Forget it. I'm keeping it in the chunk. <laughs> so that's why that's there. Anyway, I've got a, a nice immersive engineering building. Oh, we didn't go outside and explore a little bit because I did a little bit of decorating. Uh, just 
hit down some redstone, uh, made some little uh, shrubby bits, grew some trees, uh, stuck another island on here just for fun. I'm going to make a bunch more floating islands just because it's fun. And I'm just, I wanted it to be more than just boring flat ground. So now it's it's better. Pretty much everything is as I just kind of randomly hit it with the the, the bone meal. I did make these these trees, and there's the light <laughs> underneath there. So there's no torches anywhere. We've got lights from the the glass. We've got the light from these uh, shroom lights. I I like having stuff that's not torches, and I don't mind the uh, the the mana flashes, but. The, the problem with them is they they do reverse a little bit of uh, particles and they show up on the map as black. And I don't necessarily want to have a little uh, uh, black spot. Uh, what is you? See that, that little black spot? What is, oh, is it this? Nope, it's the little mana flash. <laughs> uh, so if we look now, uh, yeah, there's no little black. Uh, let's check the light level. Light levels are just fine. All right, so that's good. <laughs> it bugs me that little bit of black, and that's because I'm using the black ink on the mana flash so that it's it's hard to see. Uh, but I don't want to see black spots on on the map if I can avoid it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Uh, immersive engineering is a blast to to set up, and uh, you know I've got myself a, a funky place. I had the white blocks because I raided the, the castle and I had the, the deep slate here and I like deep slate and I like that contrast, the, the, the dark and the light. That's fun. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, I do want to build out this island a, a bit more, make it so it's not just a single island here, have a, a, a cluster of various nether islands in this area. And um, it's all crimson. So obviously I need to do some stuff with warped because <laughs> it's fun. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here, playing on the FTOG Ozone Skyblock Reborn server and having a blast with uh, immersive engineering. And thanks for watching. Bye.